This is MXUX. Great news here on the endurance judging. This is a TFL truck. Uh, this is a website. News iPhone maker is taking a crack at electric pickup. Meet the Model V. And this is October 19. Uh, Taiwan's first self developed electric pickup truck may come to the U.S. market. Now I have a con. You know, I just want to say. This reporting on Lordstown Motors and Foxconn in the B market is totally confused at this point in time. A lot of it's not accurate. There are inaccuracies. But the press is there. All press is good press, right? Uh, I'm not going to go through this whole thing. Uh, the electronic car has not uh, the ability to build uh, vehicles in the United States. Okay, that's the Lordstown Motors plant. Uh, details are scarce, but we know that uh, it's a 2,000-pound payload, payload rating, which might be wrong, 6,000-pound towing capacity, uh, directly in the path of conventional mid-sized pickups like Toyota, Dakota, and Honda Ridgeline. I'm going over the Honda High Technology Day, but this is going to have more information, but this is just the news that's out now. The Model V is the result of vertical integration of Han Hai and MIH Alliance partners, of which Lordstown Motors is one. Uh, it is the first pickup designed and developed in Taiwan. And during Han Hai uh, Technology Day, the presenter, the female presenter, was the head with engineer in charge of design. When they say designed and developed, in my mind, it's the look and feel, uh, the nuts and bolts, not done here. That's my, my take on that. Anyway, now let's just see if I can find the right tab here. Uh, now this one here, and I don't have the full story on this, but the Business Journal, and this is October 18, 2022, Fox going to produce pickup, the Model V, Crossover model B, so V and B at Lordstown. Um, I just want to say you got to understand uh, Foxconn is building this BEV manufacturing empire through a lot of joint ventures and contract manufacturing and working through other manufacturers and so forth. The Lordstown plant to the best of my knowledge, is the only plant they own. It is their flagship manufacturing facility. It has got their name on it. They own it. Uh, Lordstown Motors, of course, is interwoven in this entire venture, but it's hard for me to believe that they will build uh, any vehicle anywhere else than here. And uh, they may have, uh, uh, you know, LuxGen is uh, putting out the Model C, but I believe the Model C, uh, in other words, they're going to produce, in my opinion, do your own DD, every model they come out with is going to be produced at this facility. Will it be sold under the Foxconn brand? Um, not necessarily. Will it be rebranded to other carriers? Yes. Now, my read, and you got to do your own DD on this, on any new MIH vehicle, which Lordstown Motors engineers, as per my flow chart in the last video, they're going to have the rights, Lordstown Motors, to distribute that vehicle under their badging, or I guess any other badging they want, in the North American market. Canada, United States, and Mexico. Okay, this could be the Model V pickup, and this could be the Model B crossover. Also, the Model E, the Model C. Okay, uh, all of the models they're making, uh, except the transit bus probably, in my opinion, are going to be made here. Those that are going to go through this engineering regime with Lordstown, the development regime with Lordstown, I do believe 
under the my reading uh, anyway so far the joint venture and again you got to confirm this yourself lordstown is going to have the rights to distribute that in the north american market and foxconn is going to have the rights to deliver uh, that to customers throughout the rest of the world and again this is this is the only facility I know of now they are looking at facilities in India as well, but I do not believe that purchase has gone through yet. And I believe that might be focused more on integrated circuits. But this is the crown jewel of their efforts, and uh, everything they make is going to be made through here. And I think Lordstown, anything that is developed off the MIH program uh, by Lordstown, Lordstown is going to have the rights to distribute it in North America. This is including. Uh, also, we can include here the Lordstown uh, Endurance, the high-top van, and uh, likely the three-row SUV. Um, so this is, you know, this is massive anyway, in my opinion. I mean, I'm going to do more work on this, but guys, that's my preliminary finding, and that's in my opinion, do your own DD. So we've got two more vehicles at Lord's. I believe I already said the crossover. I, I, I don't know how many we have now, six. And then uh, the pickup truck uh, is new and added to that list. Uh, Lordstown, Eisen, and this is October 18th. This is the Vindicator uh, local newspaper. October 18th, the auto assembly plant in Lordstown, Ohio, and by Foxconn, could play a large role in the Taiwanese company's continued expansion into manufacturing electric vehicles. Yes, it's going to play the key role because it's the only plant they own, at least now. And at least, uh, and, you know, if they, even if they buy another plant, it's going to take time to ramp it up. This is their crown jewel. Uh, in the North American market, which is the biggest market, which is the most stable market right now. Uh, Han high images of the plant, blah, 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 blah. Uh, now, this article, again, I think is has some needs some fact checking. But recent published reports by Car and Driver and Fox Business suggest the Model B hatchback, uh, which would be made by Foxconn affiliate Foxtron, would be produced in Lordstown starting in 2024. Okay, this is a lot of word salad here, but this is according to my flow chart in the last uh, video. Maybe I'll include that flow chart in this video. Um, again, I do believe uh, Lord Sam Motors is going to engineer this. It is based on the uh, MIH platform. It is a derivation of the Model C crossover. Uh, I think it's a little smaller. Now, in my mind, this vehicle is, now the, the Model C is in production by LuxGen, and I believe they have it, uh, moniker N7 on that. That's a little different. I believe this is also based on that platform. I, I think this might be a little smaller vehicle. Uh, but having said all that, someone maybe can help me with this out there. I think all these in, these these products have to be re-engineered for the North American market. Am I wrong? I think the crash test standards are higher. Anyway, uh, you can slice this any way you want it. This is a massive amount of, of activity at the Lordstown plant, and uh, Lordstown Motors is right in the middle of all this. Uh, so... The Model B would be made in ha in uh, Lordstown starting in 2024. If it's going to be made in Lordstown, you know, it's going to be engineered by Lordstown Motors. But last week, Rick Rise, president of operations for Foxconn North America, tried to tamp down speculation of Model B's production in Lordstown. Blah, blah, blah. Our commitment to existing. And, and that, I, I, I watched his interview. I didn't see that. We do not intend to have any uh, Foxconn and or Foxconn brand in particular at Foxconn, Ohio. Um, that doesn't mean they're not going to produce the vehicles. It simply means that they are going to either be sold as white label or distributed 
you know, perhaps under the Lordstown Motors label or uh, Lordstown Consumer, Lordstown C, who knows, in North America and the rest of the world. Uh, this output could be distributed by LuxGen or uh, some, some other entity. Um, they do not want to compete with their customers. This is the Foxconn um, motto. Uh, but, you know, they're doing a proof of concept with these vehicles, and I do believe that um, I, I, you guys are going to read this contract. I, I do believe that if, and I am pretty much certain that Lordstown is going to engineer these, they're going to have the North American rights to distribute them, Play, paying the licensee fee and royalty to Foxconn, uh, badged and branded under uh, Lordstown or another similar brand, or sold as white label but distributed through Lordstown. Blah, 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 blah. Foxconn and Indy EV have a memorandum of understanding. Uh, you know, once Foxconn does this, it's generally a done deal. A uh, binding agreement to produce prototypes in Lordstown, which is going to be done by Lordstown Motors, plus calls for Foxconn to produce the batteries for the electric vehicle. Now, there's batteries and there's battery packs. There's a battery pack assembly line in existence at Lordstown, which is owned by Lordstown Motors, which is used by Lordstown Motors. Now, when they say batteries, do they mean the battery cells, or do they mean uh, the battery pack? Um, again, Lordstown Motors owns the battery line, battery pack assembly line at the plant. Uh, Goshen, who, if you look back in my catalog of videos, you'll see a rumor that Goshen was it's supposedly... Uh, heard through the grapevine that they're talking about supplying all the batteries that's a that's a chinese maker uh for the lordstown plant uh for han hai uh thing is they built a giant plant in michigan which is you know a stone's throw from where this Lordstown, Ohio plan is and definitely connected by rail lines and highways and so forth. Maybe, uh, you know, three, four hour drive, something like that, maybe. Um, so, again, some questions about this reporting, but just to give you an idea of what the heck is going on, this is moving, you know, Faster than the speed of light here. Now, uh, this is the Model V. And again, uh, we went through this already, and I, I think I've covered everything. Oh, this is, a, this is a review of the Lordstown Endurance. This is the first publication I found. This is in Haggerty Media, 20 October 22. This is the North American truck of the year jury examination the first news from uh, the journalists that are taking a look at the lordstown endurance and there's a picture of the endurance and the cinderella is an electric pickup truck to lordstown endurance so cinderella implies you know coming from the ashes lordstown v2 uh Prince uh, Han High came to rescue them, and here's the Lord's Town Endurance. That's what that's saying. Uh, the, the, now, this is, you know, of course they have to say this, right? Because they can't just say, well, it's got a good chance of winning. The odds of the Lord's Town Endurance being voted North American Trick of the Year are long, as the very fancy Ford Lightning ha likely has it in the bag. Huh, I don't know. If they go by judging the drivability, ride and drive, they're not. they're going to lie to themselves if they choose the Ford Lightning. But the Lordstown Endurance is here and of such interest to journalists that reservations were required for a 30-minute drive. That is how interested this press is in the Lordstown Endurance. Um, there's an interview with Darren Post there. Uh, now this is this is what they have. Uh, they talk about the the uh, hub motors being visible. This is some of his commentary. Inside the Lordstown endurance is 
plain Jane. Four front seats are comfortable and snug enough, whereas the back seat is thinly padded and a bit too upright. You know, of course they have to say that. Controls are simple and straightforward, and yes, there is both air conditioning and a stereo. Uh, there are a multitude of options on this vehicle that are standard equipment that this guy has glossed over that were put in there by Hightower. There's puddle lighting. There is bed lighting. There is uh, on and on and on. This, in my mind, is the option equivalent of a um, Ford Lariat, F-150 Lariat. So, um, again, they gloss over all of this, and they mention the, the back seat is a bit too upright. Plain Jane. Anyway, good enough. There's both air conditioning and a stereo. This thing's got carpeting. This is a full-featured pickup truck. This is on the level of a, a Ford F-150 Lariat. I don't know these guys. I, I, I don't know how they live with themselves writing this stuff. Anyway, the price, price, price. Now we got top speed 118. This is limited by a governor. That's This has been up to 130 plus on a closed track. I have inside information. Range is 200 miles. The range has always been uh, 250 on this truck in the past. Uh, I do believe they strengthened the superstructure of the truck to get a five-star rating to get a star for the rollover. Uh, so that weight may have affected the range. I think this might be a little better in actual use because the hub motors do get a 30% higher regen than uh, a normal, um, you know, electric motor setup on a BEV. We're going to have to see in actual use what the range is. And they may, now, now they say this is a 109 kilowatt battery. I believe the original Endurance had 110 uh, so there's some question in my mind about this range. Uh, that certainly is enough range for fleet uh, use, uh, according to my research. Um, anyway, there's a picture of the truck. Yeah, 109 kilowatt battery. It charges 28% uh, in 45 minutes. Um, on the road, the Lordstown Endurance just feels like an electric truck. Nothing would tell you that it's powered by four hub motors. It's quiet with a trace of wine from the motors. It moves along at a smooth clip, very buttoned down. This is the handling, which obviously this guy didn't take advantage of. Honestly, it's much better sorted and fully realized than I was expecting. Believe me, this truck has gone through two levels of development of course it's polished this is this is probably the best uh, uh you know introductory flagship halo product uh, that's ever been real i mean these guys this has been through burns's development and then when hightower and the avanji came in they did a second uh redo on this so this is a a finished truck um so uh, tough road ahead. Ford is doubling down on the fleet market for its electric F-150. They can't even supply any fleet F-150s. This is not even true. Endurance ultimate price rumors it might cost about 64 That's more than a fleet Ford, which starts about this. is totally inaccurate. This, place, this price has gone up, I think, $10,000 since this was mentioned. And you can't even get them. It's, it's not even a matter of price. It's a matter of availability. Uh, Lordstown is actually building trucks, but the initial plan is to lease them to customers rather than sell them outright. This is very interesting because Lordstown Motor then would become the leasing, the fleet leasing company. In 2004, the Inflation Reduction Act allows that uh, tax credit to be paid uh, to the leasing company. OK, um, directly uh, in certain situations, if I read it correctly, which would mean. Tell me what that would mean. Would that mean a, even a bigger margin on the endurance? Because that would be a cash 
I mean, the, the price would be discounted by that amount, but rather than having all the uh, cost baked into the price, this would be, be a cash award. Would that be valued different? Would that be of more value? Would this increase the margin? Anyway, on each vehicle, uh, it doesn't matter because it would allow Lordstown to control the entire buying experience. This is a great idea for fleets. Um, blah, blah, blah. 5% of the world's electric vehicle. Uh, this is this is what um, Foxconn said. 5% of electric vehicles by 2025. We can do that. We can back that number out and uh, see what, uh, what sales would be. But I do believe they are sandbagging of this. They are sandbagging on this. I believe they have much bigger plans than this. Uh, 40 to 45 percent of the electric vehicles uh, overall they want to sell. Eventually, the same share it has in the smartphone business. Now, here's the thing: um, they're going to start cranking out these models, uh, and there are more, you know, partnerships and. Uh, I, you know, I, I do believe they are going to start manufacturing vehicles. Uh, Danny Vaji went through it in his presentation that they're going to put out white, li white label endurance pickup trucks for other OEM manufacturers. It is likely. Okay, they were pursuing such partnerships. So I, you know... The thing about Foxconn is they like to, and there's a picture of the endurance while I blabber on here, just real quickly, because I'm doing a video on this Han Hai Day. I'm trying to analyze it. Han, uh, you, you know, uh, Lou, the CEO of, of Foxconn keeps talking about building an ecosystem. And these guys at Foxconn, they are some sharp businessmen, I have to tell you. I am just so impressed. I mean, versus, versus the American approach to business, uh, these guys, anyway, th what they talk about is uh, building an ecosystem. And they're building this ecosystem through these joint ventures and partnerships. And they're building out this whole pre uh, line of battery electric vehicles that they're developing. They are sharing the wealth, bringing in partners to produce, uh, do the engineering on these things. Uh, they are contract manufacturing them. They are allowing them to be sold by their joint venture partners and uh, shipping them off to other OEMs or whoever it is that wants to sell them. So they're creating an ecosystem out of, you know, thin air. And what this ecosystem is all about is it is the market for their product because their product really is the supply line. And their product is all the components. And their product is assembly, okay? That is their core business. Uh, you know, they're in this joint venture with Stellantis right now, and they're going to be they're going to go over manufacturing every nut and bolt that's used in the car. And they're going to make everything. They're going to make the windshield wiper, motors, the, all this stuff. This is all going to be Foxconn. The iPhone, uh, Foxconn makes 90 plus percent of the components for. Same thing with these vehicles that they manufacture, no matter the brand, no matter the customer. That is going to be how Foxconn is going to make its money. It's going to make its money making these components, managing the supply line, and assembling these components into vehicles. And they are giving everything else away to the other parties involved, again, to create this infrastructure, to create this e ecosystem. Anyway, um, I think it's a brilliant way of doing business. And the thing is, uh, I mentioned this book I read on stupidity. Uh, intelligent people, smart people, get into relationships that benefit both parties. And I think that's what Foxconn's all about. Anyway, so this is MXUX. This is just a quick update. I'm trying to work out. I got too many videos to do. This is such a fast-moving story. 
very exciting. Um, thanks for watching.